Hi friends, welcome you all to Deep Matrix. In today's video, we are going to see about how to extract the poles and zero values of the transfer function of the system. So first of all, I am going to declare my system. System equal to TF of TF is nothing but a transfer function. So this is the transfer function we are going to use for today's video. First of all, what is the poles and zeros of the system? So poles are nothing but the roots of the denominator polynomial of the transfer function. Likewise, zeros are the roots of the numerator polynomial of the transfer function. For example, here we have s square plus 5s plus 10. The roots of this polynomial equation is the pole values and the roots of this equation is the zero values for example we can solve this equation by s equal to minus 6 by 4 minus 6 by 4 so minus 1.50 is the zero value of the transfer function likewise while solving this equation we get the pole values but in matlab we have a separate command to do this solving method so I'm going to okay, we are going to find the zero value for that the command name is zero of system. So I'm going to run this. So you can see minus six divided by four uh, the manual calculation give minus one point five. The function also give the same value minus one point five. So next we are going to extract the pole value so pole of system stem so this is the pole values uh, which is minus 2.5 plus or minus 1.9365 i this is a imaginary part so in matlab we also have a way to visualize the pole zero mapping using a graph so pole zero graph for that the command is pz map of system. So this is the pole zero map. So this is the zero value and we have a poles here. You can see x and this x. This is the pole value. We can also drag. So here are the two poles and this is the zero value. The zero is lying on the real axis and pole is in between the real and imaginary axis. I think today I am done with my topics. Do subscribe our channel. Until then, enjoy learning. Thank you.